So we've just seen Stephen Marai from the same village as Billy Conchella, both uh, taught by David Radisha, one of the great Kenyans, both Maasai, and uh, he ran at the back, and so too has uh, Billy Conchella here, running right at the back. Suhonan making a run for it, but Babakar Niang not anxious to let up uh, the lead, and Peter Elliott always anxious to get in the battle very early and fight for a place. David Mack just holding them off, but Peter Elliott looking strong at the moment at 200 metres. Peter Elliott on the shoulder of David Mack, no problem there. Babakar Niang has had to drop back, and Billy Conchella has made up a lot of ground, and now at the back is Ostrovsky of Poland. Billy Concello looking very relaxed. He has tremendous 400 meter speed, 45.5 he's run. He's a man who suffers from asthma and tuberculosis. He's a remarkable athlete in so many ways. And look at this, he's gonna be on the shoulder of Peter Elliott, 53.75, much slower than the first semi-final, which was 51.04. But Concello is easing his way around on the shoulder of Peter Elliott. He's out of trouble. Suhonan is in third, Babakar Niang is in fourth at the moment and taking up the third place there and Quizera becoming uh, into the race and getting past Suhonan and now Concello is getting past Peter Elliott, Peter Elliott still in third and Niang is on the shoulder of the tall Kenyan. The Kenyan holding the bend and uh, Niang is going with him, Peter Elliott still holding ground from Quizera and Quizera not closing on it at the moment. The first three plus the two fastest losers Peter Elliott pulls himself wide to give himself room. Quizera comes up to his shoulder. Elliott's got a battle with Quizera. Billy Conchella goes ahead of Babakar Niang. And suddenly Ostrovsky comes into it again. And the fast finishing pole is on the line. And it's going to get just ahead of Peter Elliott, I think. There he did it in the semi-final. Peter Elliott must wince when he sees that. 146-11, very much slower. And it's all going to be decided. No doubt about Billy Conchella getting there safely. But at the line, Peter Elliott, who looked so safe for 99% of the race, uh, really must wait and see. Well, Peter was clear in his mind. I spoke to Wilf Pace's coach earlier, and uh, Peter was going to take it hard from 300 metres from home. Um, he knew, he, Peter knows that he doesn't have the greatest kick in the world, but he can wind it up from a long way out and make it hurt. Concella was comfortable, you have to say that. He looked so fresh all the way around. Was running clear of trouble. And it's, it's going, I think, I mean, the one thing we can say, and it's, it, it's dangerous to say it, but we can say that the two guys tomorrow, Concella and McKean, have shaped up extremely well in this. This is where Peter was possibly in trouble because Concella comes past with Niang and like yesterday they did cut him up a little bit but he gripped in he fought hard and in fact started to close that gap again gritting his teeth clearly moving moving extremely well again but then the battle started because the two behind started to close the gap on him and from 60, 70 metres out, he really did have a battle. Ostrowski was the very fastest finisher there, but uh, out in lane three. I wouldn't want to have to pick the uh, first four there, though. Well, Elliot, of course, got through, and there's the lineup for this afternoon's final. You'll see it at 5.30 here on BBC One.